When you think of remodeling your camper, you think of painting the cabinets, ripping out the flooring, or even ripping everything out and starting over. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to do an update without getting crazy. These are a few of the things that I did that you can do cheaply and totally change your camper appearance. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This adventure. is our adventures. The number one question I see in Facebook groups is what can I do to my camper to update it, make it my own, and not have to paint the cabinets, not have to demo anything, because most of the husbands won't let the wives do it. So today, I wanted to show you the things that I've done to our camper that didn't require messing up anything about the camper but yet you can make it your own. Let's just jump right on in here. The first thing would be pill and stick wallpaper. Now, while I haven't had the best luck with it on the walls, because I'm in the South and it, the humidity just makes it want to peel off, it works great on glass. These are glass see-through cabinets and I have put the peel and stick wallpaper on these cabinets the ones over the recliners, and also the windows that are in the hutch. And I think they've turned out great. It adds a pop of color without painting or doing anything. And I really think it updates, it makes it my style. These are the ones that I've done over the recliners. And then I also did it here above the hutch. Because personally for me, I didn't like being able to see in the cabinet. And it updates it and adds a little bit of pop of color. Also, on the pill and stick wallpaper, I added it behind our TV. This is on the actual wood, and I wanted to add it back there as well to brighten that area up a little bit. So I did stick pill and stick wallpaper. Now, the great stuff about this pill and stick wallpaper is it comes right off. I haven't had a problem. I even just did the bedroom remodel and it came off the walls and didn't mess up anything. It's something that if you end up not liking it or just wanna change it, it can be fixed and done easily. Now, the next thing that's still peel and stick is peel and stick tile. I have put this up in here in our kitchen and I put it up in the bathroom and I love how it's turned out. It brightened this space way up, gave it the pop of color that I wanted. If I don't like it, I just peel it off. Now it is on this wood and I did caulk mine in. So I, I would say that when you pulled this off, it might on this wood, it very possibly could peel some of the finish off. I just would think that would happen. I don't know, cause I haven't tried to peel it off, but that would just be something to think about. It's easy. I know on the wood, on the walls and stuff, it peels off pretty easy, but I'm not sure about this wood. And like I said, I caulked mine in and you can watch a video on how I did this. Now, also to make this my own space, I took out the table that we had here and the chairs and I made this table for this space. And this just works out way better for us, but we kept the table. So if we ever end up needing to put it back, we could, it would be easy fix and we haven't ruined or messed up anything. And another thing that I did here as well is I recovered the fabric that was on the chairs. So that's another way. And if I didn't like this, want this on there, I could just peel this right off and it would not hurt the chair that's here. Now, another way I see a lot of people wanting to change their color of their furniture, but it works. We have dogs and I've always kept a blanket on this. So I ended up buying off of Amazon, I paid like 35, $40 for this couch cover. And 
it fits on here. This was a dark brown couch and I ended up covering it with the gray. They even make white and stuff. So if you really wanted to lighten up the space even more, you could go with a lighter color. But this is the one that I went with. It works pretty good and you didn't tear up or mess up anything to give this updated look. Now, adding wall decor, this is something that you can do. Doesn't require you painting or tearing anything up. You just put up the 16 pound command hooks, attach them to the picture and then put them up on the wall. And then if you decide you don't want it, you can peel it right off. All right, let's head up to the bedroom and show you kind of some things that I've done up there. What? No, stop. Leave my pillow, leave it alone, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave my pillows alone. All right. Okay. And we wonder why the, the bed can't stay made all the time when you're in here, huh? Yep. Now, here is another thing that you can do, and I've done this in a couple of spots, is I have a lot of people talk about that they want to paint this wall or it's dark or they want to brighten up this space. And I love using my mirrors, so I made it where you can see my mirrors, but you could just add more panels of curtains. But I hung these curtains up. You could do a tension rod or something, but I did attach mine permanently. But then you could put up any colored curtains you want. And basically, instead of painting the wall, you put up your curtains and lighten the space up. But I love how this looks. But you can pull them. And like I said, you could put, add more panels to make it more full if you wanted to cover up your mirrors. Because I hear so many people, they do not like these mirrors. But you could also, on the mirrors, you could go get the peel and stick wallpaper and put this up over the mirrors and cover it instantly would look great and when you got done with it it would peel right off so there would be no painting or demo to that the other place that i put up another i put up a shower curtain in here and i don't need a shower curtain because i have the shower doors and i know a lot of people hate the shower doors i like the shower doors because I don't like a shower curtain. That's my preference. But if you want to hide the shower doors without actually removing them, then put up a shower curtain. And then when you don't want to see them, it's closed. It changes the space and you can add color to your own space. On next week's video, how I updated and organized my bathroom. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so it lets you know when I upload videos so you can watch some more cool videos. This is the other place that I put up the peel and stick tile and I think that it really changed the space and it looks pretty cool. Another way to add color to your space is by rugs. You can put rugs anywhere that you want and then that would be something you could put down, you could change out when you wanted and it wouldn't mess up anything. Also, I talked about this in another video that I was going to put this. This is a cutting board that I had somebody make me. It has our logo on it and it's going to ride right here while we're traveling because it has little feet on it. The little feet it has little rubber feet on the bottom that's going to hold it in place. But when I'm cooking to keep the window from getting all messed up, I'll flip it up like this cook and then I can just put this back down and it gives me another workspace. I love how that turned out. But yeah, it's in there. It's been there pretty tight. So you don't have to worry about it bouncing up, but you can set stuff around like this that actually gives you like a style and decor. Another thing that you can do to help change and update without messing up anything is change out your handles and stuff on your cabinet doors. I changed out the ones in the bathroom and it just updated and changed the way it looked. And it doesn't have to be expensive. You can get some great ones pretty cheap on Amazon. Just changing out your bedding and everything can make a big change on your camper. 
So you can change out, put lighter bedding, different bedding that comes with the camper, and it just adds a little bit of extra to it. But like me just hanging those lights up, those, I love them. They add such a different feel to the space. And if you haven't watched it, I remodeled this whole bedroom just a few weeks ago. Go watch that video, how I painted my blinds. A big thing when it comes to decorating your camper, don't be afraid to try something. I have tried, changed, done so many different things because it may not work, but it might work and you fall in love with it. So don't be afraid to change or to try something that you normally wouldn't in your camper. You can use bold colors, you can use bold crazy themes. Anything goes when it comes to your camper. I hope you enjoyed this little video that I just thought about making. I just wanted to show the things that I did to my camper to change it that really didn't involve any demo painting and it could be taken away if you decide you don't like it. I know a lot of people don't want to change their camper. We've had ours three years, so I've really started doing some major changes. I have to say, there is no other camper that I want. I love our camper. So many things that you can do to your camper to make it your own without changing anything if your husband is one that doesn't want you to change anything. Till next time, like and subscribe.